Welcome. In front of me is a Black View Tab 8, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this tablet. So obviously you can see the one in front of me is locked, and I can unlock it either using a pattern or if I tap right here using Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, uh, we, well, I need to be connected to Wi-Fi anyway to actually show you, but you can see clearly right here when I was connected, it told me that I need to verify a pattern or using Google account. That's normally what you would see. Uh, so before I actually go any further, I will connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so to begin this process, you wanna back out the first page right here and change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So you can scroll all the way down and basically any language here will work. I'm gonna go with Greek as an example. And from there, get back to the locked page. So basically skip majority of this. Okay, so you can see right now we can log in with our Google account. Let's tap on that field and it will bring up a keyboard. And from here you can see that there is a, there is a globe icon. So hold that globe icon. It will bring up the two keyboards right now that I can choose from. So let's start off by changing it to QWERTY and then holding it again and then uh, going to language settings, which is this text at the bottom right here. When you select it, it will basically give you an option to add a keyboard. So let's tap on this button at the bottom here, the blue one, add keyboard. And from here, select any keyboard that doesn't have an arrow. So as you can see, there's three of them visible right off the bat that do have an arrow. So select the ones that do not. As you can see, the first one is without it. And once you tap on it, you can tap right here to add it. Now, once you add it, you wanna, again, go back, change the language back to your desired language, which for me is gonna be English. And again, get back to the uh, Google verification page. Again, tap on a field, hold the globe icon, and go to language settings, add a keyboard, and this time around you're looking for one with an arrow. And there we go, there is one. Now once you choose one with an arrow, you will have a three dot option right here. So once you tap on it, you should see help and feedback option. Tap on it. And from here, Tap on the describe your issue and type in M O and it will bring up suggested use Morse code. So that's what you're looking for. So there we go. Select that and then tap on the video. Once it loads, so you have the play button and the three dots. Tap on the three dots and choose watch later, which will open up web browser. So let's accept and continue, no thanks. And there we go, we are now on the browser. So from here, tap on the search bar and navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. Like so. And from here, scroll down and tap on the settings icon. Now this will open up the settings on the device. And from here, simply scroll down to security and then choose screen pinning, enable it. There we go. And then also make sure to enable the lock device when unpinning. And this will give us the ability to set a lock screen. Now. I didn't really mention it, but before uh, you could see at uh, the beginning of the video uh, when uh, I was getting through the setup, uh, one of the ways to verify uh, the previous owner uh, to unlock the device was a pattern. So I'm gonna set something completely different, like a four digit pin, uh, and you will see that will change it. So before it was a pattern, and now it's gonna be a pin. And as you can see, I don't need to verify anything, I just set up a new pin at this moment, so I'm gonna set it up to be something easy, one, two, three, four. Let's 
go to next, repeat it to confirm it, e4, confirm, and that will set up a pin. Okay, cool. So once you have added the pin, hold the power key and select restart. Now this is uh, strictly for the SIM card, so instead of putting actually a pin, I'm gonna take out the SIM card because I don't even need it in here. There we go. So now once I actually try to unlock the device, you will see that it tells me to input a pin. And this is gonna be the pin that I have chosen, so one, two, three, four. And the device is unlocked. So now we can basically go through the setup. And as you can see, this is telling us to verify a pin. Before it was verify a pattern. And we can still use a Google account, but assuming we don't know either of those, or, well, we don't know now only one, uh, the pin right here is the one that we have set uh, right before the reboot of the device. So let's put one, two, three, four, and this will basically unlock the device. And there we go. So, um, now I would still advise you to perform a reset of the device through settings. So go basically into the settings system, backup and reset and perform a factory data reset uh, to ensure that there is literally nothing left over from the previous account that was blocking us. Uh, so right now, uh, we enter pin here. Actually, let's cancel that and skip. There we go. So once you finish up the setup, like I said, what you want to do to make sure that there's basically nothing left over is go into the settings, scroll down to system, advanced, reset options, and erase all data, factory reset, and then erase all data. And again, you will need to insert a pin that you have set. And then again, tap on erase all data, and this will begin the factory data reset. Now I'm not gonna go over it uh, in the video right here because all it will do is just reset the device and then bring us back to the setup screen. At which point you can set up your device as however you like. It will be at that point fully unlocked. So there's nothing that would be out of the ordinary there. And outside of that, that is basically how you would bypass the Google verification on this device. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.